Everybody, hello everybody. We have a very stereo stereotype. Stereotype, not a stereotype, but a type of stereo going on <laughs> here today. I hope you enjoy the panning if you have headphones on. But I'm not gonna mess around a lot. I'm gonna show you uh, an interview with um, a wonderful woman. <laughs> a wonderful woman. Uh, who was a minister uh, during the uh, Spanish government. She was an anarchist from the CNT, Confederación Nacional del Trabajo. And we're talking about Federica Monseni over here. Okay, she. this is an interview in, uh, uh, I think it was in 80 something, 81, 82, or 1980, sharp. Not really sure. In a, program, a TV show called uh, La Clave. And this is our former minister, Federica Monseni, who was like a, he, she was a minister for, for a, about a year or two tops that she introduced like a lot of really good reforms in her very short term, considering it was interrupted by what people like to call the civil war, the Spanish civil war. But I refuse to call it a civil war. It was an extermination war carried on by the fascists after a failed coup d'etat. But check out her words. I'm going to try and translate for you all, okay? Tengo lo que voy a decir yo, pero yo te doy la palabra en un momento en que se hablaba de que el anarquismo estaba opacado, que parecía que... She's, she's talking about a time where anarchism was a little bit opaque, like a little bit... Uh, say not not so clear was a little bit you know obfuscated desaparecía casi como como idealidad uh, a la moda como idealidad que 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 apareciese en el primer plano de la actualidad social y política so it seemed to be like a fad uh, fashion that you know would appear in the in the spotlight of uh, of a politics yo quería decir que desde luego El error más grande en que se podría incurrir es en creer que el anarquismo es una idea estática. And she she wants to uh, put her finger on the fact that she wants to insist that uh, one of the biggest mistakes is thinking of anarchism as a static idea. Un dogma. A no dogma. lo es ni lo ha sido jamás. It isn't and it's never been. Un pensador anarquista del que no se habla, Ricardo Mella. Uh, thinker, an anarchist thinker that people don't talk so much about, which is Ricardo Liria. Fue el que dijo, más allá del ideal, habrá siempre ideal. Was the one who said, like, beyond the ideal, there will always be an ideal. Y otro escritor anarquista, que las generaciones actuales desconocen. And another anarchist writer that uh, current generations don't know. Arriba del mármol. Who was what? Sorry, I missed the name. Es el anarquista que las generaciones actuales desconocen. Carrera del mármol. Es... Carrera del mármol. I don't, I don't know that that person. Es el que dijo la autoridad es una ecuación. That that person said that the authority is an equation. De lo cual hay que ir siempre reduciendo cantidades. From which we have always to be uh, reducing amounts. Además, Besides, yo estoy convencida. She's convinced that anarchism cannot uh, cannot happen like that spontaneously by spontaneous generation. Let's see. By a revolution that imposes itself. By uh, by means of an act of force. By a dictatorship. Anarchism tiene que surgir. Impregnando la sociedad. Anarchism must uh, must uh, happen by impregnating the society, by you know educating little by little. Y el anarquismo lo está impregnando. Hay... And that's what it's doing. Hay una serie de ideas anarquistas. There's a series of anarchist ideas que se han vuelto ya de uso común. That have become like common sense. Hoy día se practica el amor libre. Como no se había practicado nunca. Nowadays, uh, free love is practiced like it's never been practiced before. <laughs> Mayoría las parejas que se ponen a vivir juntos y que cuando hay hijos legalizan o no legalizan <coughs> la unión. 
And there's a lot of couples who start to live together. And when there's like legal children, they don't legalize the union. So they don't get married. You know, people don't, people can live together and not get married, which was something, you know, uh, different for the Spain of the time. Again, uh, we're talking about the 1980s, uh, early 1980s. <laughs> so we're, re we're fresh out of uh, Franco's dictatorship, right? La desobediencia civil propagada por Toro. Civil disobedience as propagated by Toro. Pues es uno de los procedimientos de lucha actual pacífica. And it's one of the nowadays it's one of the procedures of peaceful uh, protest. Queréis, pero que viene también del 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 anarquismo. But it comes from anarchist uh, foundations. La lucha contra la democracia galopante traducida en los métodos anticoncepcionales y en el, la práctica del aborto o la autorización para practicarlo. So the struggle against, uh, against uh, unleashed uh, or, uh, yeah, unleashed dem demography, uh, unleashed growth of population, which is practiced by, you know, uh, contra contraceptive methods and, and birth control and, and family, you know, uh, birth control, basically. ¿De dónde viene uno de nosotros? Where does it come from if it's not us? Un compañero nuestro llamado Buffy pasó años en presidio por haber escrito un folleto titulado Huelga de vientres a principios de siglo. So another another comrade uh, took took so many years in 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 prison by just writing a leaflet called uh, uh, <laughs> Womb Womb Strike at the beginning at the beginning of the century. Es decir, hay una serie de ideas anarquistas que están impregnando la sociedad que nadie que no saben que son anarquistas pero there are a series of anarchist ideas that are impregnating society that people don't know they're anarchists but they're actually anarchist por el movimiento de los verdes en Alemania like the green movement in Germany de los ecologistas en Francia y en España y en todos los países europeos all ecologist uh, uh, movements in, in in France and Spain and all of the European countries? What is it? What is it but an, an, a natural uh, translation of uh, libertarian uh, naturism that was practiced in the 1930s? Yeah. Uh, naturism is, you know, all these people who go all, you know, naked and like to, you know, womb strike. You heard of it. That's cool. That's cool. Otra impregnación libertaria de la sociedad. Y so there's a libertarian impregnation of society. So the, it's influence in society. Uh, that's, a, that's a very common current, you know, when um, people, people, you know, m many people, you know, say that anarchism is more a, a philosophy of thought than an actual political movement in a way that there is no one path to follow towards anarchism and anarchism it's it's you can be more or less anarchistic and many ideas that are anarchistic are very compatible with other types of society that don't necessarily need to define themselves as, as anarchists so i would say federica monseni she knows way more than any of us she knew i guess yeah she passed but she was awesome and she was absolute role model there poco a poco incluso la paulatina toma de conciencia de los hombres con sus altas y sus bajas. So the, it, 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 it infiltrates little by little by uh, taking like a, a, a slow paced uh, take of consciousness by, by people with, the, with its highs and lows. Sus crisis, sus represiones. Crisis and repressions. Sus periodos trágicos and tragical periods todo lo que hay de positivo y realmente de avanzada social everything that is a, a positive and, and means a social advancement um, yeah it was philosophy that led you to anarchism there you go so everything that's positive you know that is, is um, has to do with you know social uh, advancement viene de ideas anarquistas comes from anarchist ideas that have been little by little uh, irradiating into the society. <coughs> so that's why she declares that it's not 
is not that it's obfuscated, but beyond that, she wants to add. El socialismo está fracasando internacionalmente. That socialism is failing internationally. We're talking about the 1980s. O bien cae en la socialdemocracia y se convierte en lo que decía León Blum, en un lacayo del capitalismo. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's a prophecy. Okay, she says, whether social democracy falls and becomes what uh, this philosopher Bloom uh, said, uh, what predicted it was going to become, which is a lackey of capitalism, does it ring a fucking bell? <laughs> so, yeah, social democracy becoming an instrumental for capitalism. O bien desaparecerá porque se va desacreditando y perdiendo crédito entre las multitudes. Or it will disappear because it's it's losing uh, traction in the in the majorities. El comunismo de estado a través de la experiencia rusa. Comu uh, state communism, uh, considering the Russian experience. Ha perdido. Es ya una idealidad ideológicamente liquidada. She has lost a, an ideality which is ideologically liquidated. ¿Qué queda como posibilidad? De organizar una sociedad nueva. What is left as a possibility to organize a new society? De concebir otro hombre. Of, con of conceiving a new type of human. De hacer otra sociedad para este otro hombre que concebimos. Of making this new society for this new human being that we're conceiving. No quedamos más que nosotros. That's, that's, that's only us who are left for, you know, constructing this new society. No estamos opacados, sino que al contrario. Cada día vamos impregnando más la sociedad. So we're not obfuscated that the anarchist, but but on the on the contrary, we're uh where our ideas are infiltrating more and more and more of the society. They're they're impregnating more the society, right? They're they're more more and more influential, should we say. La vamos impregnando la lucha contra la guerra, el pacifismo, el, el antimilitarismo, la desobediencia civil, todo esto son ideas arrancadas de nuestro pasado y de nuestro presente. So all of these, you know, anti-militarism, uh, civil disobedience, and so on and so forth, they're ideas that they've, they've, they've come from, from anarchist past and anarchist present. Y no somos una idealidad estática, porque como dijo Mella, más allá del ideal habrá siempre ideal. Buscar... And we're not a static reality because, as Meya said, uh, we're not just a simple reality. Tenemos siempre fórmulas mejores. We have always, we're not a static reality. We're, we always have improving and better uh, formulas. No, aceptamos los progresos de la ciencia. We accept the progresses of science. Aceptamos la evolución técnica. We accept the technical evolution. Lo aceptamos todo. We accept everything. Pero a la medida del hombre. But made at the measurement of, of, of humanity, right? To make, tailor this to, towards humanity. Y procurando que el hombre se beneficie de ello. And trying for humanity to beneficiate from it. No una clase como eso. Not just one class. Which is the case. There are many ways to spend your life barely even working. And there are millions and millions of unemployed people. Because labor, labor... <laughs> wow, Jesus, she is so advanced. She was so... Oh my God. I love this woman. It, this woman is a is a absolute reference uh, because the 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 work days are not being reduced el, el capitalismo no le because it's not in the in the interests of capitalism. In a word, just to get done. time, she wants to. Yo soy los que creo She's que one who believes. Todas las ideologías that one, all of the ideologies irán siendo ensayadas y todas irán fracasando. will be rehearsed and then will be failing one by one quedará como esperanza y como posibilidad de organizar un mundo más justo y mejor que el presente lo nuestro so she says that anarchism uh, after all ideologies uh, I don't know if she wrote any books. We're gonna we're gonna see to her uh, bio and everything. She's awesome. Uh, she was she was 
I mean, I've seen a few interviews of her, and she's one of the ma most based people that I I could just kneel down and and say, Master, you you know the drill, you know the drill. I've seen her in this debate also from the probably one of the, it's the same TV show actually another debate where she was not saying a lot, but you know, she, she spoke every now and then and she was like nailing it. But yeah, she's saying that uh, when when uh, different ideologies get tested one by one and they start failing one by one, she's saying that anarchism and the uh, the ideas of anarchism, not anarchism per se, but the ideas of anarchism is is whatever is going to be left after all of that, all of those failures to to be worth you know testing and and trying and uh, what's going to take humankind towards a better place. Again, by, by infiltrating society little by little, all of those ideas and making, you know, lighten up the consciousness of peoples. Because that's one of the, uh, one of the main jobs that anarchism has been doing all along. Ha sido un movimiento revolucionario, un movimiento de masas que ha recurrido al anarcosindicalismo. It's been a revolutionary movement, a mass movement that has uh, addressed anarcosindicalism. Aceptando la fórmula de Bakunin. Accepting the formula proposed by Bakunin, or Bakunin as we call them in Spain back in the day. Pero ha sido sobre todo un movimiento moral, ético. But it's been most of all a moral movement, an ethical movement. Ha, ha partido de la pedagogía. And has departed from pedagogy. Y que ha procurado formar las conciencias de los hombres y prepararles para ser cada día mejores y más aptos para vivir la sociedad que nosotros quisiéramos organizar para ellos. And that has prepared the consciousness of, of people uh, and has prepared uh, the people to, uh, yeah, what, what was it? Las conciencias de los hombres y prepararles people. para ser cada día to get them ready to be every day better and more apt to become the people that we need to live the society that we want people to have which is you know basically a better world where you don't have to work that much or you can live your life as a, as a human being but check it out Federica Montseny Okay, I'm gonna link this to you all. Probably the Spanish, the Spanish article. There you go. So she has written other. Oh, okay, she has written some novels, a few, a lot of novels. She is a hell of a writer. She has a hell of a bi bibliography. So we have some reading ahead of us, people. Federica Monseni. She was a feminist. This is Federica Monseni at the historical meeting of CNT in Barcelona in 1977 after, you know, the first one after 36 years of, Fra of the Franco estate, says the picture. I mean, this woman was fucking epic. I'm going to show you. Uh, let me see if, this, if we find the Spanish article. Which is gonna have like a lot more stuff. But yeah. This was her in the 1930s. This was the time when she was a minister. 37, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah. 36, 37. And uh, yeah. I can show you some more stuff from her, more interviews. She was absolutely. This is her definition of anarchism. This is the interview I saw. So this is a this is a, a chunk of it. So anarchism. The anarchism in Spain. As an idea. As a philosophy. As a conception. Uh, as a way of conceiving uh, a human 
being an, an, an ideology. Entronca con todo el pensamiento filosófico desde la Edad Media hasta nuestros días. It's rooted in most of the philosophical thinking from the Middle Ages up to our current days. Yeah, did she even put her pen down? <laughs> you love to stick around, you gotta go. Okay, have a good one, Delv. Have a great one. Much love. Yeah, she's been writing for... She had decades. So she says that it's it's rooted in most of this philosophical thought, you know. Y se ilustra en el pensamiento de hombres como Cervantes. And you can see it in, in the thought of men like Cervantes, which is, you know, Miguel de Cervantes, one of our... It's, it's the Spanish Shakespeare. Y como muchos otros que sería muy largo enumerar. And a long list of others. Incluso. Even so. Ya que me invita el moderador a que lo defina. Now that the moderator is inviting me to the, define myself. Diré que la propia historia de mi familia, de mis padres. She must say that the, the history, the very history of her family and her parents. Responde ya esta concepción. Responds to this type of conception, the anarchist conception, that is. La revista que contribuyó más a la formación moral de la llamada generación del 98. The, um, the, the magazine that mostly contributed to the moral uh, foundation of the so-called generation of 98. Fue la revista Blanca. Revista fundada por mis padres en el mes de junio de 1896. Was the Revista Blanca, the white magazine, which was founded by her parents. Uh, revista en la que colaboraron hombres a magazine como in which Ramiro de Maestu. That had covered collaborations from people like uh, Ramiro de Maestu. Como Azorín. Azorín, again, very famous Spanish writers. Como... El propio Pimargal en sus últimos años, Pimargal, con Dorado Montero, Dorado una Montero serie de intelectuales españoles, a series of Spanish intellectuals, que se sentían íntimamente ligados a la idealidad anarquista, who felt intimate, intimately uh, bound to the anarchist ideals, o a la filosofía anarquista, que no, or the anarchist philosophy, tenían nada de proletario, who were not a proletarian at all. Dicho esto, this being said, en efecto, el movimiento libertario se singularizó en España luego. The libertary movement, movement was uh, defined in Spain later. En su intervención activa en las luchas sociales y en las luchas obreras. In its active intervention in the uh, social struggles and the working class struggles. ¿Por qué? Cumpliendo lo que habían sido más o menos aspiraciones de Bakunin, Creó la organización obrera by accomplishing the what were aspirations by Bakunin, uh, they created the workers uh, organization que había de posibilitar su acción en el terreno social, en el terreno político. That should possi it made possible its action in the social and political arena. Y en el terreno sindical. And the syndical y, arena. Y esto pues, the syndical might, might mean the unions, you know. I don't know if because syndicate is something different in English, but no, the unions, you know, the union arena, arena basically. Bien, claro. Ahora, That's very clear. Now, como definición as a definition, intrínseca de la palabra anarquismo, as an intrinsic definition of the word anarchism, nosotros concebimos el anarquismo, we conceive anarchism como una idea de la sociedad y del hombre as an idea by society and by humankind mediante la cual el estado con todo lo que él entraña by which the state with everything that it entails de supresión de la libertad by its pressure on freedom y de esclavización del individuo and the enslavement of the individual y al, al decir la palabra estado ya no hablo del estado simplemente capitalista y burgués and by saying uh, the word state she doesn't mean the just the bourgeois capitalist state. Hablo del Estado como Estado. She's talking about the state as a state. Porque hemos visto en qué ha degenerado 
el Estado proletario en la Unión Soviética. Because we've been uh, witness to the degenerate the, to the yeah to the de evolution of the proletarian state in the Soviet Union. Y en que de genera toda idea de Estado que no es más que la continuidad de una autoridad sobre el individuo. And in what, you know, the, the, the degeneration of, a, of an idea of state that is based on the idea of the, um, of, uh, the authority of, of, of the individual. Que limita sus iniciativas y que in, imposibilita la libre expansión del individuo. That limits its initiatives and, imp and makes impossible the development of the individual. Nosotros concebimos que es posible organizar un mundo sin Estado. We conceive that it is possible to organize a world without state. Un mundo sobre la base del trabajo, del mutuo acuerdo, de la... A world on the base of work, a mutual agreement, solidarity. Una organización social basada en la toma de los útiles de trabajo por los productores. And in a social organization based on the take of the means of production by, the, by those who work in the means of production. Y a una organización de la producción y de la distribución por vía de consensos, por vía de organizaciones de base. And the organization of the, of the production in general by, by consensus and by via uh, um, um, grassroots organizations. En las cuales in el which obrero trabajará. The worker uh, will work. Y será responsable de su trabajo and will be responsible of their work de los productos de este trabajo. and the products on the products of, the, of that work. Es muy largo exponer todo esto. This is very long to expose. Y me limitaré pues a concretar diciendo She'll just say uh, briefly Sí, el anarquismo es una ideología Yes, anarchism is an ideology que tiene la pretensión that is trying to la última reserva que le queda al socialismo. That is trying to be the last reserve uh, left for socialism. Fracasado como socialdemocracia. Failed as social democracy. Fracasado como socialismo de estado. Failed as uh, state socialism. Fracasado como toma del poder totalitariamente. Caso Rusia y otros países. Failed as an authoritarian uh, takeover of power, like the case of Russia and others. Y nosotros creemos que es nuestra concepción de un socialismo libertario. And we believe that it's our conception of a libertarian socialism. La última expresión del socialismo auténtico. That would be the last expression of real socialism. Cabe decir que nosotros durante muchos años nos hemos llamado y seguimos llamándonos socialistas ácratas o socialistas libertarios. So it is, it is uh, pertinent to say that we've been calling ourselves uh, acratic uh, socialism, socialists or libertarian socialists. Again, the word libertarian in Spain carries a way different meaning. Most of Europe uh, carries a way different meaning than the, the fake, fake libertarians, the ANCAP, black and yellow, black and yellow bullshit. Which fuck them like uh, your cartoons <laughs> give up already. <laughs> Get your nap and nap it. <laughs> Get your your nap and, and swipe it through the WAP. Somos pues una rama del socialismo y que Therefore, we are a branch of socialism. Que somos precisamente la esperanza que el mundo tiene dentro de una concepción socialista de las relaciones humanas. And we believe that we are the last hope uh, of a socialist relation, uh, a socialist conception of the human relations. Professor Ricard. So that was, uh, yeah, that is Federica Monseni. Federica Monseni, who was a minister. Again, she was a minister in a government, in a state. So she's not saying all states are bad. She wants to abolish the state, but she knows that the process takes the education of human beings, you know, into the values of solidarity. You know, that's why, and that this, we're coming into my opinion territory right now, but I would say, you know, that uh, we cannot go full anarchist before our 
our minds, everybody's minds, or most of people's minds are fully anarchists because we're we're in the risk of people falling into into the into the bad patterns of uh, you know selfishness and and aggression and, and bad stuff. You know, we need to we need to have the we need to have the the thing before we go deep into the, which I'd love to, you know, but if if we want it to last, if we want, you know, if we want it to last, this needs to be, this needs to be, this needs to be a process of education. This needs to be, we need to become better humans before getting organized as better humans deserve. Because right now we're, I mean, we in general, and I'm not talking about you as an individual or me as an individual, but we are, we are, we're doing, we're doing what we can, but we are not ready yet. I'm so glad that, you know, I can translate some good stuff, you know, from Spanish thinkers, life for y'all, or recorded if you're watching this on YouTube. Yeah, I know it it would be much harder to access if it went, you know. Uh, this is this I'm trying to help basically, trying to help. But yeah. Again, you know. Negras tormentas aquí Están los aires, nubes oscuras nos impiden ver, aunque nos espere el dolor y la muerte contra el enemigo nos llama el deber. El bien más preciado es la libertad. Oh. Que defenderla con fe y valor, alza la bandera revolucionaria, que del triunfo sin cesar nos llevan pos, alza la bandera revolucionaria, que del triunfo sin cesar nos llevan pos en pie. a la reacción a las barricadas a las barricadas por el triunfo de la confederación a las barricadas a las barricadas por el triunfo de la confederación That was Spanish anarchism and that's what we need to that's what we need to go for that's what we need to go for some improving people's life by improving by improving our education by improving our will to be better for each other uh, and better for ourselves but mostly better for each other we're doing we're doing okay for ourselves we're, if we're beating if we're beating ourselves up it's because of capitalist realism but yeah it's all in the spirit of growing together but if you don't owe anyone that work yeah and I appreciate it very much I'm, I'm so glad you you like it I'm so glad you appreciate it your appreciation is appreciated back back to you <laughs> you know it's a uh, we need to get rid of capitalist realism. Capitalist realism is what makes us uh, being competitive to each other. You know, instead of being helping each other and being uh, supportive with each other, we're we're being competitive. We're trying to our way to lift ourselves up in the capitalist realist uh, vibe would be to take each other, take other people down, and that's how you lift yourself up. When what I think you know when you lift yourself up the most in the long run is when you lift others up as well. 
when everybody is lifting everybody up. That's when uh, life is life is better for everybody. Basically, everybody gets it a better chance of at life in general, and that's what we need to aim for as a, as a species, not just as individuals. But then again, that's my take. <laughs>